problem is there was no temple in Jerusalem. The temple was destroyed twice. The first Jeez. temple was destroyed 586 years before the birth of Jesus. The second temple was destroyed in 70 AD, Jeez, 40 good. years after Jesus went to heaven. So what temple did he go? There was no temple. So that's why I say, if we go to your commentators, it's going to get worse for you. They got to try to cover up. But unfortunately, when they cover up, all they're doing is covering it up with just more wounds. Just more wounds. Really, what they're doing is, ah, man, my arm's cut. I'm like, all right, bet. Uh, stop focusing on this one. Bam, cut that one. Ah, uh, stop looking at this one. You remember, like, Major Payne? I'm going to say, little trick. Take your mind off that arm. Uh... Be a little fresh. Ah! My finger! My finger! Give it to To the one who took his servant by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque whose surroundings we have blessed so that we may show him some of our signs. Indeed, he alone is the all hearing all seeing okay now the quran just said it, it's perfectly clear it explains everything and mm. all things in it perfectly clearly mm -hmm. that's what it said in those verses it then it contradicted itself so if the quran is perfectly clear and explains all things can you tell me just from the quran who that servant is do you have the answer for that just from the quran we know the prophet prove it how do you know that where did mm. the quran say it's the prophet why are you reading later hadiths into this? Because when you go to the hadith, it's going to embarrass you. That's why I'm saying be careful. Don't run to the hadith. So from that verse alone, can you prove to me it's Muhammad? No, well, we can't. know it's Muhammad. How do you know that? Where did the Quran tell you it's Muhammad? The name Muhammad only appears four times in your entire Quran. How do you so know it's Muhammad? Know. How do you know? Mm. I'm still waiting for the answer. How do you know? Got to go everywhere Okay, else. now, related to the same verse, it says, who took his servant by night from the inviolable mosque to the farthest mosque, Masjid al-Haram, Masjid al-Aqsa. Where is Masjid al-Haram? Can you show me from the Quran where and what is Masjid al-Haram? From the Quran. It says Saudi Arabia. Where did the Quran say Saudi Arabia? It doesn't say that, but I know Masjid al-Haram is, is mentioned. Uh, and where does it tell you Masjid al-Haram is in Arabia? Secondly, what's the farthest mosque? Masjid al-Aqsa. Where is that at? Jerusalem. Where did the, Quran, the verse say Jerusalem? Why are you making things up as you go along? Where did that verse say Jerusalem? Well, this verse doesn't say Jerusalem. But the Quran told you in those six or more verses that you read, and I have a lot more, it explains all things in this book. Mm. It's perfectly clear and mm. perfectly clearly explains the verses. How come mm. it fails to explain this verse for you? And it's less than perfectly clear. Okay, now I got even more problems with the verse. Who's saying in 17 verse 1, glory be to him. Who Who's speaking? Hmm? Hmm? Allah. So Allah is speaking to himself and glorifying himself. Yeah. Oh, you're okay with it. So you're okay with Allah saying, glory be to him, instead of saying, glory be to me, that's who dope. carried my servant by night. So Allah has to speak of himself in the third person? Yeah, that's how Allah refers to himself. Okay, man. well, good. I'm glad you said Allah. But then Allah goes on to say, so that we might show him some of our signs. So Allah is saying, glory be to him, Mm -hmm. which is me uh -huh. who carried his servant by night which is my servant right from the inviolable mosque to the farthest mosque whose precincts we blessed so we might yeah, show him i'll admit this verse doesn't explain the locations no but that's even more than that what i'm asking is why can't allah I'm simply leading that to you you tried to get me busted with that i'm saying yeah if you're taking this verse yeah. in isolation of itself even it in the does. context of the Quran, you're not going to be able to figure out because there's nothing in the Quran and other verses that tell you what this means. I have Yo, so this is what I've come to find out. No matter what, no matter who tries to debunk what or who tries to refute what, the Quran, that right there in itself, lies within itself. The many verses, again, it was put up on the screen by Sam Shamoon, that there's many verses that say this book explains everything. But yet, no one can ever explain why it actually doesn't explain everything. They try to say, like, oh, well, it's a book that explains what needs to be explained. Okay, so why is there certain things that people had questions about that why they had to make hadiths and tafsirs about if it was all just perfectly explained in the manner that it was supposed? Because you, then you wouldn't have to have a question in regards to the Quran if everything was explained in the manner that's supposed to. For example, uh, this is just a small one. When they made the hadith about um, Aaron not being the sister of Mary, 
because of the age gap and the age difference. They had to try to make a, a, a lie and try to make it up and say, oh, well, that just means that it's a descendant of when that was even a speech back then at that particular time. Because it didn't make sense, they have to try to then cover it up and cover it up and cover it up over years and years and years. So the book that's supposed to be perfectly explained, and that's the eternal word of Allah, still can't even explain everything. So the eternal word, the actual word that comes from Allah in book form that was revealed to the prophet has to be explained by other means hundreds of years after the fact. That never will ever make sense to me, no matter what a mom, no matter what sheikh, no matter what doctor, even the highest form of the Islamic scholars, I can't remember their names, but or what their titles are anyway, but nobody can ever explain that to make it make sense. How the words of Allah the exact words of Allah, the uncreated perfect words of Allah need other people hundreds of years to then explain. Doesn't make sense, but let's keep rocking out. Sam's cooking right now. Sam's cooking. I have to investigate that. Keep investigating, have to investigate. but don't forget two points. This is the same Quran that told you it is a book that explains all things, all things. and is perfectly clear and perfectly clearly explains, explains its verses. Yet no. it doesn't. But here's the point I want you to focus on so we can go to another example. Allah speaking, Allah saying to himself, glory be to him, which is actually me, who carried his servant by night, which is my servant, from the inviolable mosque to the farthest mosque. And now notice Allah says, whose precincts we blessed. Now, but pay attention to this part. So that we, we might show him our signs, ayat. Right? Do you see Allah says we might show him? Yeah. Okay, now here's my question. If you're following the Arabic and the English. So he goes, we might show him our signs. He is the seer. Wait, so the one that Allah is showing his signs, Allah just says about him, the one that he showed his miracles to, he, the one we showed our signs to, he's the seer, the knower? Who's hmm. that? Yeah, I, I, I figured, you know, I had a feeling you might bring that up. Okay, then you're addressing. But that's, that's ambiguous. Yeah, but my point is, the he is the him. We might show him. You keep forgetting that our signs. Mm. If that's Allah, why would Allah need Allah to show him miracles? Allah showing himself miracles? That's you great. know what? Hold on. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. But if it's Muhammad. Then so, okay, so l l let me see if I understand what you're saying. Yeah. What I gather from what you're saying is that it says so that we, that being Allah, referring to himself yeah. we show we him show him our signs and the claim is indeed he alone is all seeing yeah and, all hearing all seeing and who's the but he? you're saying why would allah after just saying we say he no no it's more than that allah says we showed him our signs and then speaking of him he yeah. says he the him that we showed our signs to, he is the all seeing, the all knowing. Who's the he? Yeah, the that's him? what I'm. That's what I'm saying. If, okay. if they want, that's that's the point I'm getting at. Okay, so is who's the he and the him? Is, and if you it. say Muhammad, it's even worse because if it's Muhammad, we showed him Muhammad. We may show him our signs. And Allah he, is showing the prophet. Oh, but then you just destroyed mm, our sign. Okay, but then finish it. The he. Is Indeed, the seer in the north? He is the all hearing. All and that's seeing. Muhammad. You just said it's Muhammad. Man, the so him Muhammad's and the he don't too. change. It's the same one. Okay, that that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's so what, that, is Muhammad that's, that's all hearing? I, Do you believe Muhammad? What, what okay, I, is Muhammad what, all hearing, all seeing? Mm. Because it's the same him and he in the same sentence. It doesn't change. Him, we showed our signs. He is the seer. So it's the same entity. Mm. So who is it? We're still trying to figure it out. If it's Muhammad, then Muhammad is all seeing. If it's all so of the be all your we all right. So y'all, y'all Muslims who made it up to this point, help your brother out. Obviously, this is after the fact. Obviously, it's after the fact. So you can't help him out in real time. But you can help anybody else out who's watching this that may be Muslim and answer this question. What's going on? What is Sam trying to get his brother to talk about? Who is it that is all seeing and all knowing? Is it Allah or is it Muhammad? Which one's all seeing, which one's all knowing? And if it is Allah, why in the world is Allah talking to himself in that manner? It's kind of crazy, don't you think? Really crazy. And if it's Muhammad, so then now y'all dang near got uh, a fake trinity going on. If Muhammad knows all things, that sounds like uh, uh, divine behavior. That sounds like something that only Allah is supposed to do. That's one of his attributes, isn't it? Attributes. 
being able to hear everything, not the way that we hear though. But if Allah is hearing all things and knows all things, let us know, man. That's a pickle. That's a that's a real pickle. That's a pickle, Rick. Claiming that this last sentence means that uh, that it's referring to Muhammad alayhi salam. If it's all Muhammad, things. then Muhammad is the seer and the knower. So you made him God. You made him an ilah. Why wouldn't he say, indeed, we are the all hearing, all knowing? Thank you. You got it. So the him and the he is the same person. If it's Excellent. Muhammad, then Muhammad is all seeing. If it's Allah, then Allah is being shown miracles by someone else. I have to ask the Sheikh about this. Right. So this is 17 1. So look how 17 2 mentions Moses' name. Thank you. So that means Moses is a servant of verse 1. Prove me wrong. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm saying. If you just follow your, your Quran, you can't tell me the servant is Muhammad. It's most likely Moses because he's mentioned right away. And it's dealing with the Bani Israel, the children of Israel. So prove to me the servant is Muhammad. Don't, don't, don't try to do the work of Shaitan. What Shaitan? You're asking me to show you contradictions. If I'm Shaitan. No, don't, don't play with my brain. I'm not playing with your brain. You asked for this. So that means you want Shaitan to keep you deceived into thinking the Quran is true. Mm. Whereas we want to try to show you Jesus is the truth, not the Quran. But let's not go there. First, let's finish the point. Do you want to go outside of the Quran and go to the Hadith to explain this? We can do that. You want me to show the you? The Hadith or the Tafsir? Oh, the, either one, because the Tafsir is quoting the Hadith, like Ibn Kathir. According to Ibn Kathir, you know what this is referring to? That this is referring to Muhammad when he was taken from the Kaaba to Bayt al-Maqdas. Bayt al-Maqdas, meaning, and it's also called Bayt al-Muqaddas. Bayt al-Maqdas, Bayt al-Muqaddas, the temple in Jerusalem. So Ibn Kathir says, and all the commentators, not only him, this is when in Medina, your prophet was taken from the Kaaba, Masjid mm. al-Haram, to Masjid al-Aqsa, which is Bayt al-Muqaddas, Bayt al-Maqdas in Jerusalem, the temple in Jerusalem, right? Yeah. Problem is there was no temple in Jerusalem. The temple was destroyed twice. The first Jeez. temple was destroyed 586 years before the birth of Jesus. The second temple was destroyed in 70 AD, Jeez, 40 years right. after Jesus went to heaven. So what temple did he go? There was no temple. So that's why I say, if we go to your commentators, it's going to get worse for you. 70 hey. AD? Yep. There was no... They got to try to cover up. They got to try to cover up. But unfortunately, when they cover up, all they're doing is covering it up with just more wounds. Just more wounds. Really what they're doing is, ah, man, my arm's cut. I'm like, all right, bet. Uh, stop focusing on this one. Bam, cut that one. Ah, uh, uh, stop looking at this one. You remember like Major Payne? I'm Miss Shea Little Chick. Take your mind off that arm. Let me hang. You may feel a little fresh. <laughs> My finger! My finger! Every time. That's what the Quran and then the Hadith and Tasfir has to do. So the Quran is the blow to the chest. Doesn't make any sense. But to cover up the blow from the chest, they hit you in the back with the Hadith. And then Tasfir, they cut off your leg. So really, you're just more jacked up the more that you try to read into all this stuff. Because none of it is coherent in itself. None of it. So with that being said, man, I don't know... I get it for the people that are subjugated. Again, I say this all the time. I get it for those people, Lord willing, they come to know the truth and come to get out of that and come to, uh, uh, you know, really just understand what God has for them because it's not that. It is not that. But for you ones that willfully choose and say, you know what? No, I want to be here. And the ones that willfully try to stay ignorant for the fact that Islam is what it is. I don't understand why you would want to send yourself to hell. But hey, let's get back into Sam. Temple when Muhammad supposedly went to Jerusalem. Because Ibn Kithir says he went to Jerusalem on Burak with Gabriel and he tied Burak to the door, entered into the temple and led the prophets in prayer. There was no temple for him to enter. And then the mosque that's now known as Masjid al-Aqsa, the Masjid al-Aqsa that you now can visit in Jerusalem, that was built by Abdul Malik around 691 AD, about six years after your prophet died. So what temple did he visit? Mm. He's silent in the mud. What temple? Mm. He's silent. So what mosque did he but visit? You, okay, but do you have evidence of that? Yeah, Ibn Kathir tells me that he went to the temple. He went inside the temple and he prayed with the prophets. And the, all the commentators say that. Ibn Ashaq, there is no temple. This is just a fact of history. When Omar hey. Ibn al-Khattab conquered Jerusalem, the, the site of the temple where it stood was a waste dump. 
That's where they dumped their garbage and he had to clean it out. That's a fact of history. That's according to your history. Didn't Omar conquer Jerusalem? Yeah. Okay. Did. When he went to the Temple Mount, where the temple used to stand, he found it as the waste dump where they would dump mm. their garbage. The Holy House at that time did not exist. This is the mistake in your hadith and in your commentators. They're telling you you went to a house that historically did not exist. This is a fact of history, dude. So that was the brother Sam Shamoon breaking down the Quran and how it just folds on itself and how the Hadith fold on itself and how the Tafsir just fold on itself. That the Quran gets absolutely nothing right and all it is is just a cover up for more and more wounds and it's just leaving people broken and it's leaving people on the way to hell. Lord willing, the people that actually want to have their eyes opened by the true God, they watch these videos and understand that it's not any truth in Islam, only lies. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believes in him will never perish but have everlasting life. That's what we need to understand. That's what we need to focus. So, yes, sometimes these videos can be harsh. Sometimes these videos can, like, really just poke at the uh, fundamental flaws of Islam. But that's the point. That's the point to show you guys that it doesn't make sense. So that, Lord willing, you guys understand that the true understanding and the true belief is with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The triune God. The true God. That being said, this has been your boy, Scripture Plug Albert. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.